North Korea to finally return U.S. soldiers after Kim Trump summit success. North Korea is expected to hand over the remains of around 200 to 250 U.S. servicemen. On Saturday, the U.S. military in South Korea said they had moved 100 wooden coffins and American flags to the border with North Korea to prepare for the repatriation. During the meeting between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump, the dictator committed to returning the remains of U.S. troops recovered from major Korean War battle sites in the Hermit State and said he would make way for the immediate repatriation of those already identified. Almost 40,000 Americans died in the Korean War, between 1950 and 1953, while nearly 5 million Koreans died. But an estimated 5,300 U.S. troops presumed to have been killed in North Korea are still unaccounted for. And even with the full cooperation of the communist state, recovery efforts are likely to take years. The repatriation of the remains will mark the first homecoming from the North since the work of U.S. military experts and North Korean workers between 1996 and 2005, who recovered the remains of more than 220 soldiers. These recovery efforts were halted in 2005, however, when the relationship between the two nations deteriorated because of disputes over the Hermit Kingdom's nuclear weapons program. Lt. Col. Jennifer Lovett, a U.S. military spokeswoman, said the handover of the servicemen will happen in Panmunjom, the so-called truce village which straddles the DMZ. More coffins will be sent to the village in the coming days. Metal caskets were also being prepared at the U.S. air base in Ozen, South Korea, before they make the cross-Pacific journey home. Ms. Lovett added, on Saturday, 158 metal coffins were sent to the air base. But she declared it remained unclear when North Korea would deliver the remains to Panmunjom. Er Iman Zokiri, a North Korean website said, It is our firm, unwavering position to open a new future for world peace and security. By faithfully implementing the joint statement that North Korea and the U.S. have announced, we will conscientiously fulfill our responsibility to address decades-long tensions and hostile relations and open a new era of the North-U.S. cooperation. Trump raised hopes on Thursday when he said, they've already sent back, or in the process of sending back, the remains of our great heroes who died in North Korea during the war. After the remains are sent to South Korea, they will be transferred to Hawaii, where forensic work will be carried out in order to identify the fallen soldiers. Some of the remains of soldiers that were sent to the U.S. from the North in the past were mixed with the bones of unidentified people and even animals. 